Hello everyone, I am Maghendra Singh from SAG Infotech and today I would like to show you the newly balance sheet mapping procedure which is the as per the updated MCA rules. So let's go and start the process of mapping. For processing purpose, first you need to select the balance sheet slash 3CB 3CD option and go for the data transfer import from table. First you can select your client and mention the year. If uh, you already a user of Tally or Tally installed on the same PC then you can directly connect your Tally Prime by using the process option or if the Tally is different uh, uh, on different sy system you can select your XML file of uh, Tally. First we select the list of accounts files When I click there select the master file and then select the trial balance file. Click on proceed and through this way I can uh, get the data from tally to our software. Now first you have to do the mapping between the data fetch from the uh, tally to our existing fields. First I select the field one by one and double click where I want to map. This process I need to follow to the all given groups to the existing groups. Once I completely map the group, click on the next button, click on OK and now I can easily check my import data from Tally to our software. So through this way your Tally data in trial balance is completely import. Now if you want to use the same data for the uh, import from in balance sheet, go for the balance sheet option, click on the menu tab. And there is an option import from trial balance. When you click on import from trial balance, here the groups are uh, comes. There is three condition unmapped, mapped and all. So we select all and click on the next tab. When we click on the next tab, you can easily check then there is a amount mapping purpose. Three options are there, all, filed and blank. So we select filed tab and you can check then the list is there. You can easily check that there is some color tab option, uh, options are there. These are the options where you need to doing changes if you want to do. So let's start with the first one field in capital. So if you want to change any details in this schedule amount, click on this three dot button. And now you can add the detail one by one. I already added the details in authorized issue, subscribe, subscribed and paid up information. But if you uh, want to add the details, click on A, which is add, which means add, add and add the information. Or if you want to delete something, click on the D, which means delete. There is one more tab, which is the five year details. If you have any information of the five years information, you can just uh, enter the information or click on back. There is one more option, which is notes. If you want to uh, mention any description in the pr print preview time then you can add any note uh, by adding uh, click on new and uh, mention your notes then one more option which is reconciliation if you have any reconciliation related information click there mention your uh, add issue or other information relevant information and click on save so it's automatically save the information so this is the first part where you can just uh, enter the figures or uh, add the details or edit the details. Same this process you need to follow in all, all other green color fields. Click on these three tabs. Now go for the other tab which is this yellow color tab. Now if you want to uh, you know add this trial balance amount to non-secured, uh, non-current to current amount. What you need to do? Click on the current amount and mention the zero. So the amount is automatically comes in current or if you want to uh, you know add this minus figure in the current amount so what you need to do just add the same minus amount here which is 26819 so it's automatically take the zero in non-current condition same thing you need to do with the all other relevant information and through this way you can update your data from non-current to current and same process you need to follow with the other yellow color fields. Now you can check 
when you scroll it down then the differ tax and uh, profit uh, other relevant details are there if you want to add something you can just click there or add the information we scroll it down or if you want to add it something same details you need to do for this other relevant heads here you can check the details are already zero so there is no need to add it or add something because by default the details are zero so after entering the all information mention the all figures there is an option save draft when you click on the save draft you have already entered details are got saved and then you can transfer the detail by uh, the final account by using transfer to final accounts option like this one more thing to note it down which is that whenever you want to uh, you know back from this given option you no need to click on this back button because whenever you click on this back option it's automatically reset your complete data whatever work you done previously so whenever you uh, need to go back click on this exit button so here it's asked that do you want to save the uh, bef already before so click on yes because i already saved the draft and it asks you that you want to exit then you can click on exit one more thing which is noted down that if somehow that you not uh, enter the complete information or you want to continue with the same uh, condition where you stop the last time so go for the import from the trial balance option click on the next and load the uh, there is one more tab which is load draft it means that whatever you work done previously and you save the draft so you can again the uh, you can again start the work from the save uh, same option by using the load draft so it's load your previously uh, saved draft here so this is all about this mapping condition now go for the other options when i uh, click there there is uh, some uh, new buttons are there which is contingent liabilities and uh, commitments and relationship with the stock of companies this is also one of the newly added tab given through the mc department in balance sheet condition so if you want to add these information you can click there and enter your information now go for the other option which is the non current assets related information there is tab which is property plant and equipment when i click there i can uh, easily get the uh, schedule which is a tangible tangible assets related page there is one tab which is benami properties if client having any kind of benami properties they can click on add button mention the particular year of acquisition the amount or the other relevant information and then save his they can uh, click on this button which is print with schedule so whenever they take out the print or print preview this one uh, benami property details are automatically appear there same thing if they have any kind of immovable property related information they can click on the add row mention the information and click on this print with schedule option so this information also automatically comes in the schedule part after that there is more uh, two more changes uh, which we discuss uh, which uh, better to discuss which is the first one option is the trade receivable and the trade payables if the client want to update this information then they can uh, check this information automate uh, from there by using this option which is which show the trade payable amount or if client have the uh, information trade receivable related information click there and client uh, click on this option which is agent schedule so from there they can check their agent schedule related information this is also one of the updated field or the part in our software after that we go for the other option which is profit and loss option here there is two more newly added part which is the csr activity and cryptocurrency if the client having any kind of csr related information they can click on add and mention the information over there or if client having any information about the cryptocurrency they can click on the cryptocurrency option mention the information over there and if they want to use the same information in print condition so they need to click on this print with schedule so these details are automatically take in the uh, print part after that we go for the next part which is the deferred tax assets 
सो डेफर टैक्स लाइबिलिटी इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट दैट सो फर्स्टली इफ क्लाइंट ऑलरेडी मैंशन द डिटेल इन इनकम टैक्स इनकम इन इनकम टैक्स सॉफ्टवेयर डेपिशन चार्ट दैन क्लाइंट नो नीड टू मैंशन द फिगर दैट फिगर आर ऑटोमेटिकली टेक ही जस्ट नीड टू मैंशन द टैक्स रेट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दे वॉन्ट टू एड एनी टैक्स रेट एंड देन क्लिक ऑन सेफ सो थ्रू दिस वे दे कैन एड दिस डेफर टैक्स रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इन ट्रायल बैलेंस बट इफ द क्लाइंट नॉट यूजिंग the complete genius they only using the single balance sheet part then client need to uh, mention the information in the particulars one by one mention the amount one by one and then click on the save option if they want to take a print preview they can click on the print preview option and they can analyze the details and when they click on exit software automatically ask you that do you want to import this information in the entry if you click on yes the details are automatically enter in the other field there is one more point which we need to discuss which is the information about your assets when you click on this uh, option the three dot you can find out that there is some particular tangible assets related information if you want to add the or mention the information there you can select this option now there is two points first one is that that if the client is not a user of complete genius then clients need to click on the new option and mention the particular assets name and other description about this uh, other tangible assets related information and save the detail but if the client is already a user of complete genius then they can easily import the data uh, from the income tax depreciation chart part if the client already enter the details in the income tax option depreciation chart then client they can easily get the detail from there from here when you click on import it's automatically pick the detail like this and it's up here so this is the two part if uh, sometimes client don't know and they not using complete genius then they need to enter the detail manually or if they already a user of complete genius they can easily import the figure once the figure import it's appear like this here so this is also one of the uh, important part if you preparing the balance sheet thing so this is all about the updated conditions in balance sheet now go for the next other relevant information so uh, the other relevant informations are completely fail and you can verify the details and check the details from there so this is all about the updated fields functionality in balance sheet which is the mapping part and which is the uh, updated as per the mca department given functions still if clients having any kind of issues related about this mapping functionality you have uh, you have free rights to call us on our number which is 0141407200 or you can also drop a mail on our mail id which is info@sagainfotech.com So have a nice day and thank you